Hey everybody, it's Lisa, owner of Peaches Skincare. Wear a hat. If you see me outside, I've got my lifeguard hat on. Get that blood flowing. It's like working out the arms or your muscles of your leg. Hi everybody, it's Lisa, owner of Peaches Skincare. You can visit us at peachesskincare.com and I also invite you and encourage you to follow us on Instagram and Facebook to see a little bit more about who we are and my holistic beliefs in skincare. I answer most of the questions here on YouTube, however, and it doesn't cost anything to subscribe and it is like a hug and a gift to me because the more people that subscribe and the more hours that you watch the full video, YouTube will then share my videos. And if you're new to my channel, I teach beauty and aging naturally, which is something that is really an anomaly. Um, I don't use a ring light. I have no foundation or concealer on my face. And if you see gray hair sparkle, that is accurate. I have been growing it out for two years and you'll see one flying all over the place sometimes. So please support my channel. Please like and subscribe and comment with kindness below and I promise to answer every one of your comments. I'm starting a series on invasive procedures or procedures that I see all over the place. I've seen for my over three decades in skincare as a holistic master esthetician. And um, I really want to make these short little videos explaining to you what they are, what they really do, and what you can do as a natural alternative. So today we are going to talk about micro needling. It is everywhere. Now, if you want to get microneedling, I tell everyone before you do something so invasive to your skin, at least go and have it done professionally. But let me explain what it really does. So we have natural fungus and bacteria always on our skin. And it is when we create an opening or we activate it that we have an issue. So microneedling is supposed to cause collagen. It is supposed to injure the skin and all the blood comes rushing and it creates collagen. But in fact, that glow or that collagen that you think that you're making is inflammation and damaged skin barrier and tissue. So it will look very red, it will look very swollen, and you will actually think that that is collagen being made. I have had people tell me that they saw a difference in their skin or they saw a difference uh, in the fat deposits on their legs. It's very temporary. And if you did it before and after and you looked at your skin later, you would actually see that you have caused damage to the epidermis and dermis and that you in fact are helping your skin to not be able to fight skin cancers and not be able to make collagen and not be able to do things naturally like it's supposed to. Now the other issue is that you leave that opening for fungus and bacteria. And so many times we have a client come into the salon or I've had many of you comment below and say, I tried microneedling and now my skin's a mess or I broke out. And I encourage you to look at real self microneedling disasters. It's a real thing and we see it all the time. We see scar tissue, we see damage, we see acne that they didn't realize came from that, but it was because they left an opening. Or if you saw my rosacea eczema psoriasis video that I just did, you create an opening for fungus and therefore you create a fungus on your skin that becomes overly diagnosed as those things. Now, there are ways to take care of those things and that is to be on a very good regime, to keep your skin clean, to keep your gut health clean. But what can you do to build collagen naturally? You can eat vitamin C enriched foods like broccoli, red peppers, uh, root vegetables, Brussels sprouts. Um, what else can you do? You can massage your skin, get the blood flowing. I show many of you how to do facial yoga, how to get your blood flowing. And when your blood rushes to the area of your skin and it re-energizes your skin and it 
takes dead skin cells and re-energizes those skin cells, your skin becomes more youthful. It creates its own collagen. Um, you can also take a collagen supplement. Now there's a lot of studies still out on this, but I really see a difference in my skin and also areas where I feel arthritic. So to me, a collagen supplement is absolutely something I would try before I would do something invasive. You're going to wrinkle. Wabi sabi, ladies and gentlemen, the Japanese word for in uh, for uh, caring or in oh, what is the word I'm looking for, Kent? Embracing. Thank you, Kent. Embracing the aging process, the imperfections in life, in a piece of wood on our faces. I have wrinkles because I'm almost 55, but yes, I'm going to teach you how to fight it naturally. But when you do these invasive procedures, you are actually accelerating the aging process and leaving your skin, your largest organ of the body, at risk for diseases, cancers, and problems. I hope this resonated with you. Um, comment with love and kindness below, and I hope you all stay beautiful naturally.